Hey all, it's Scott from Your365 Coach and today we're going to be diving into Microsoft Copilot in OneDrive for Business because there's a brand new Copilot in OneDrive to help you with your files. Even better, we're going to show you how to use this Copilot in SharePoint and Microsoft Teams for files stored in those locations. And of course, before we dive in, we'd love it, hit that like button and an all important subscribe button to find more great content like this. And a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Avpoint, you'll find more about in the video description below. Otherwise, let's dive into Copilot and check out how it's gonna change the way you work with files in OneDrive. Getting started with the new Copilot in OneDrive for Business is really easy. Yes, we're also using Microsoft 365 Copilot and OneDrive for Business, the business version for OneDrive. And when you access your OneDrive inside of the web, you'll then have access to all of your files and folders, just like me. But here you'll see there's no Copilot icons, so where is Copilot hiding? Well, let's go ahead and open one of our folders. And as you can see, I've got a few example CVs. By hovering over one of the files, we see the Copilot icon you can left click Copilot to also open all of your Copilot options. Alternatively, just by left clicking the file, you'll see the Copilot icon at the top of the window. You can again left click and find your Copilot options here. So that's where Copilot is hiding inside of your OneDrive for Business. But how does it all work? Well, using these files here as an example, what I'd like to do is summarize one of our files. As an example, click onto the Copilot icon and then select Summarize and you'll now see that a Copilot dialog appears inside of your OneDrive. It's now reviewing that file and providing that summary. And we can see immediately it's provided a summary of the CV from John Smith. All of those summarize points from the CV. We can also ask a question of Copilot on this file. By left clicking Ask a Question, we see an experience we've seen before in other Microsoft 365 apps. Yes, the Copilot sidebar. We can now go down and we can ask further questions of Copilot about this CV. For example, we could find out a little bit more about his experience he's had with Ecotech Innovations. Let's go and ask Copilot that. As we can see, we asked Copilot that question to now summarize John's experience. Managing as a project manager from June 2015 to 2019, and managing a team of 10 people. So you can begin to ask questions of all of your files in this way, directly from a summary. But what if we want to ask a question without summarizing that file? Is that possible? Well, it absolutely is. Let's go ahead and instead open Sam Jones's CV, select the Copilot icon, and now select Ask a Question. We're now gonna see the Copilot sidebar open on the right-hand side. And I can now ask Copilot a little bit more information around the salary expectations that Sam has. And we can see that Sam's salary expectations are between 50 and 60,000 pounds. I didn't have to open the file and look through all of those pages to find it. A simple question to Copilot came back with that answer. And just like we did before in the Copilot sidebar, we can also ask further questions of Copilot to find information from that CV, such as Sam's qualifications. A powerful experience in your files in OneDrive using the Copilot experience to summarize and also ask questions too. As you know, Microsoft 365 Copilot relies heavily on the way you've secured your files and folders inside the SharePoint Teams and OneDrive. Getting that wrong can lead to oversharing information to your colleagues in separate conversations. And that's where today's video sponsor can really help. With Avpoint's policies and insights tools, you'll be able to identify external sharing links that shouldn't exist, anonymous access, and also automate some of those security roles to keep your data secure with the policies and insight tools. You can find out more in the video description below and even arrange a free demonstration. So with your data now secured in Microsoft 365, let's head into Copilot and see what else it can do inside of your OneDrive for Business. But what about document comparison? Well, I've got two CVs from John and Sam. What I'd like to do is understand the differences between those CVs for our role. How could I do that with the help of Copilot? What we can easily do in this OneDrive experience is highlight multiple files. Then from the Copilot bar at the top, we can now select a new option to compare files. A comparison is now started with Copilot. 
we can see live on the screen, it defines the sections and the detail inside of both of those documents. And yes, we can do more than two documents. At a glance now, I can see the professional summaries, the experiences, salary expectations, and the skills that both of these individuals bring just by reviewing this summary that Copilot has created from both of these documents. We can also once again select ask a question to ask a question of Copilot to understand the differences in experience between these two candidates. We can see a simple question to Copilot to identify those strengths and weaknesses between the candidates has now came back with a review for the strengths for Sam, some weaknesses, and once again for John as well. Having Copilot compare the documents in place and provide summaries is really powerful and saves you a whole heap of time. But what about your files in SharePoint? OneDrive's great, but there's going to be a lot of files in all of your working areas in your Teams and SharePoint sites. None of these capabilities work right in Teams and SharePoint, but there's a little bit of a workaround because today I could use these capabilities for files stored in Teams and in SharePoint. But how can we do that? Well, it's pretty easy to do. You can open up any of your Microsoft Teams or your SharePoint locations. For example, clicking into the quick access on the left hand side opens up one of my Microsoft Teams areas I'm working with, which is powered by SharePoint. To bring it into OneDrive, I'm going to go ahead and select Add Shortcut to My Files. Now creating a shortcut into my own OneDrive for Business to access these files quickly. Now with that done, I can go into My Files on the left hand side and we now see a shortcut to that location, another one we created earlier. And by left clicking into them, we now see all of these documents stored inside of Teams and SharePoint. But because it's been delivered through the OneDrive experience, I can left click a file, select the Copilot option, and then summarize the file in place, just like we did in the world of OneDrive for Business, but using these capabilities for files stored in Teams and SharePoint. We can also ask further questions of your files and more, and use the files that you've stored in Teams and SharePoint with the help of your co-pilot inside a OneDrive for Business. Whether this was by design or purely by accident, I'm not too sure. But what it does allow us to now do is use Copilot with your files in SharePoint. But do be aware, if you've already synced one of your libraries with OneDrive, you may not be able to add a shortcut as I've done today to OneDrive for Business. But when you do, you can now see with the help of Copilot, you've got all the automation you wanted with Teams and SharePoint too. And did you know we can also use Copilot to summarize your documents at any clicks? Yes, let's go ahead and open up one of our documents inside of Microsoft Word. And when you have Microsoft 365 Copilot, you'll see when this document loads, we now have a summary which will appear at the top of the screen. This summary, when you expand it, will now summarize the document itself and provide all of those key points. You didn't have to go into Copilot as to summarize it, meaning you can now work with your files in OneDrive and SharePoint and Teams and have them summarized in place. And if you have further questions, just click on open in chat. The right hand side co-pilot sidebar will open. You can now see it resummarizes, allows you to ask more questions of your document in place inside of your Word co-pilot. But a handy change when you're working with your files in your OneDrive, SharePoint and Teams to get summaries of your documents fast. So there you have it. We've now seen the new co-pilot in OneDrive for business. And there are a few limitations. For example, I couldn't use this experience outside of the web. Yes, I have OneDrive for Business on my own computer with my content synced, but there were no Copilot options inside of that folder. Likewise, I couldn't do a document comparison with two separate versions of the same file using version control. I could only seem to do it with two separate files in a folder, but hopefully gaps like this will close in the future with new enhancements to Copilot. Now I'd love to know what you think about these new experiences for Copilot and what you'd like to see in the future. If you haven't already, hit that like button to let me know this content has helped you and the all important subscribe button to find more great content like this. And I also want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, AppPoint. You can find out more about the tools they offer in the video description below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.